me, Rex. Welcome to another Monday. Let's get going. Hi, everyone. Hi, Rex. Hi, Kathy. Hello. Hello. Right, let's get on and do some phonics. Have you read all the tricky words? Go back and watch the video above us if you haven't. Okay, so if you haven't watched the video with the tricky words in, go back and read them with me. Pause this video now. Read this word. Can you spot the tricky graphemes in this word? Okay, everyone, what's this word? That's right, it's the word father. R U F father. Did you spot the tricky part? That's right, that A, ah, the letter A, sounds like R. What's this word? That's right, it's the word class. K -l -a -s, class. In some parts of this country, people say class, but we don't where we are here in Birmingham, so we just have to say k -l -a -s. So it's not tricky, really. What's this word? That's right, it's k -r -a -s, grass. And this one? That's right, p -a -s, pass. Great reading, can you find the tricky words hidden near other words? Okay, pause the video and have a go at re uh, finding the um, tricky words, or the not tricky words as the case may be. Okay, well done, did you spot father? Did you spot grass? Did you spot pass? And did you spot class? Well done if you found all of those. Super. Can you find and read the tricky words in these sentences? Okay, I would like you to read the sentences. Pause the video, um, read the sentences. Then I want you to think about what they're telling us. And after that, um, see if you can spot all the tricky words. Well done, you should have done that. Um, if you need some more time, pause the video. I'm going to read them now, so. Slowly, my father stood up from the grass he had been lying in. Pass the ball to me, he shouted. Just then, a girl from my class ran over. Okay, so I'm thinking about these sentences. So, slowly, he's getting up slowly, so it's my father. So, the person that's writing is it's their dad. So, their dad stood up. He'd been lying in the grass, so he stood up slowly. And then he, he shouts, pass the ball to me, which makes me think that they might be playing a game, maybe football. And they might be playing it somewhere in a park because he's been lying on the grass, or it could be a garden. But the next bit gives me a clue. Just then a girl from my class ran over. I don't think a girl from his class would be in, in their garden, so I might think it might be a park near their house. Right, let's have a look then. Did you find the words? There's father and grass and pass and class. Well done if you spotted those. Well done, do the Kahoot quiz about finding tricky words in sentences. Okay, so pause the video um, and go and do the Kahoot quiz. Fabulous, do you remember our tricky words for this week? Okay, what's this one, everyone? That's right, it's father. And this one? Yeah, it's class. And this one? That's right, grass. And this one? You've got it, pass. Fabulous, now let's build the words. Okay, the first one we're going to build is the word pass. What's the first sound? That's right, it's p. And the next sound? Yes, it's a. Ah. And the last sound. That's right. S okay, the next one here is the word grass. What does that begin with? That's right. G. And the next one? Yes, it's r. And the next one? That's right, it's a. Ah. And finally, what's the final sound? That's right, it's s. I'm digraphing these, isn't it? This one down here is the word class. Can you say the first sound in class? 
That's right, it's k. And the next sound? Yeah, it's oo. And the next sound? You've got it, it's a. And finally, we've got, that's right, s. Okay, so the next word is father. What's the first sound in father? That's right, f. And the next sound? Yep, yeah, it's R. Well done. And that one is the tricky part, isn't it? Because the A says R. The A, letter A says R in that word. Okay, the next sound? That's right, it's B. And the final sound? That's right, it's a father. Well done, everyone. That's fantastic. Great. Now you are ready to rainbow write the words lots of times, then write a sentence with the tricky words in. Today, one of your sentences needs to be a taste sentence. Oh, it's not a taste sentence. What's that one, everyone? Can you remember that one? That's right, it's onomatopoeia. Well done if you could remember that one. So that's when, we, when words sound like the sound they make, like ting or bang or thump or squish. Okay, let's have a look. Have a look at how Miss Cornwall writes a sentence. Oh, wow, guys. So it's my turn. I've got to use one of the words in it. Now, hmm, let me see. I could do grass. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to do. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to start with an adverb. Actually, I'm going to start with gently. The grass. Swished and um, whispered in the wind. Oh, I like that one. Got very excited then. <laughs> okay, so gently. Gently is tricky. The g in gently, uh, the first letter in gently, it sounds like j, but we write it as a g, the letter g. Gently. Gently. <coughs> the grass swished. That's my onomatopoeia word. Oops. The grass. Wished. Sometimes if you've got very long grass, it goes in the wind when it moves against each other. The grass swished and whispered. Sometimes it might sound like it's whispering very quietly. Swish. Swished and whispered. Whispered, the ooh, the woo sound in whispered is a W and a H. I -sp -d. Swished and whispered in the wind. It sounds funny doesn't it when we say in the wind because we, it makes us think that it's inside the wind. I know it sounds strange but that is how we say it. In the wind. There we go, I've got my full stop in. Gently the grass swished and whispered in the wind. Ooh, I like it. Okay, well done, everybody. Right, now you are ready to rainbow write the words lots of times, then write a sentence with the words in. Okay, guys, are you ready? You, it's your turn now. So you need to do a sentence for each picture, uh, sorry, for each word, and then um, you can make sure that one of your sentences 
has some onomatopoeia words in them, sort of like swish and then bang and pop and fizz. So you have to think very carefully about that. Don't forget to send your sentences in to us at y2 at anglesey.beham.sch.uk. <laughs>